everybody, this is Larry with another Edge update. How we doing? Uh, you've seen some of our videos of some of the behind the scenes that's been going on up here between the wiring harnesses and some of the production, the patterns, running the new lathe, all of those things that we're getting in place to get you parts out the door and get you machines, very good machines out the door. Part of our quality process is, um, you know, we like to revisit some of our older designs and improve upon them. And one of the things that we had had was these machines here, particularly the, the lathe and the mill, this is machine number three and number four that we've ever done and uh, what it was is we actually had machines one and two and three and four in here and we completely upgraded them so to make things easier for the user as well as easier for us to troubleshoot in phone conversations now you know when we released the machines they were good machines and they worked fine however um, you know things like with the limit switches were a little hard to adjust and move around if you ever needed um, uh, you know adjustment on there or ever needed to be modified and what we found was a lot of our teachers have been going back and forth from school to school or from room to room and it would you know the the limit switches would settle a little bit so that's one of the bigger improvements that we did is we we tore out the old limit switches, put in the new ones, added in a little bit more robust control with the door switches, and made it so that everything is a little bit more functional for our users. And we brought these in about three weeks ago, and we just finished them up this week. Not that it took all three weeks to do, but we just you know kind of pounded them out here really quick. The first two left yesterday uh, to a local school up north, and uh, these two will go south of Indy actually this afternoon. So um, I just kind of wanted to run through some of the things that we did. One of the, the big things that we did is if you look in here we modified the casting now this is something we should have done originally um, however we didn't want to remove any of the the, the center st structural material from here just in case it caused issues and it turns out it didn't later on as we started going that um, it turned out that we could slot it here it makes it easier to manufacture easier to troubleshoot easier for our users to take apart and repair if they ever need to same thing with the z-axis up here we've put a limit switch up in this area and uh, that just it just makes everything nice and clean and neat and way easier to troubleshoot so before we had limit switches hanging off the edge we actually had this was one of our first machines and what we use we use close proximity switches which are more hall effect switches and that means as a magnet gets closer to the switch the switch becomes active and uh, that was fantastic it worked really good if you had the exact right processes the parameters all of that but if the machine got bumped or something got adjusted that could easily come out of, out of you know out, out of spec so then it wouldn't work so while it was a great concept and it works great and it looks cool um, if, it, if it's out just a little bit you, you lose that functionality so we went to the micro switches just uh, standard um, you know push switches here um, and um, or lever arm switches and we made a nice little mount embedded them in here and it actually looks nicer it's it's way cleaner um, it's easier for us to install easier for us to maintain and uh, so that's what we're doing now and what we've been doing here is we're just finalizing the assembly and running in our break-in program so that when our teacher comes in to pick up the machines we know he's getting a good quality product and that um, he can count on the machine working so we'll go over here to the lathe and I'll just kind of show you more of the same what we did with the lathe we did one more upgrade on the lathe when we first released this we used to actually have a motor strapped on the back here that was pretty much direct drive um, it's since proven that that's not the best design so what we've done is we've converted it over to a belt drive with a half inch lead screw on it much bigger nut to go on there and now we've also got the mechanical switches and it just makes things so much easier to use we also have rotated our um, our limit switch here we used to have it running vertical or uh, uh, horizontal with the that's wrong even parallel with the axis and that caused issues because it was too easy to, to adjust the the limit switch to be out of spec so with this one here we can turn it completely at 90 degrees perpendicular to the switch or to the activator and it it switches every single time so it was one of those things that initially we didn't do because we were worried about crashing the machine but um, it happens so few and it's such an easy thing to, excuse me it's such an easy thing to replace that it's it just makes more sense to do it this way so once again we've taken the entire machine completely apart this literally again this is machine number three so this went out three years ago and you can see the, the condition it's in it's still in really good condition um, you know uh, they'll be able to run this for another 20 years no problem and we just wanted to make sure that you know the them being early adopters that they got set up with the with, with the correct setup so I'd say that's about it for um, 
our edge update uh, outside of doing this stuff here we're just hammering it on production trying to get all of our castings in uh, we were lining powder coating sheet metal um, everything is all going to be coming in and coming together over the next four to six weeks so uh, you know keep an eye on us and uh, we'll talk to you soon